Finally consented to start away in this uh, important Otley hurdle. We're just five runners now that uh, Norfolk Air has defected, and it's Acquaint who's the first to show. Acquaint, ridden by his owner's son, the amateur Nicky Henderson, making the running, followed by the favourite Beacon Light. Then come Nugar and Sea Pigeon together, and last at the moment of the five is Gambling Prince. At the first flight, and it sees Acquaint in the lead, three or four lengths clear of Beacon Light, with Nugar in third place, Sea Pigeon in fourth, and still last the five is Gambling Prince. Up towards the second of the eight flights of hurdles, and Acquaint still the leader, followed by Deacon Light in second, Nugar took it third, Sea Pigeon fourth, and Gambling Prince fifth. That's the order as they make their way up the Sandown Hill for the first time, with Acquaint having only his second run this season in the lead, followed by Beacon Light, who's won his last two. He's won three of his four races this term. Then come Nugar, Sea Pigeon having his first run since falling in the Colonial Cup in Camden, South Carolina, and last of the five still Gambling Prince. Gambling Prince running for the fourth time this season. A quaint leads, Beacon Light is second, Nugar third, Sea Pigeon fourth, and still last is Gambling Prince. And the ground getting heavier and heavier all the time as they make their way around the top turn where a quaint still leads from Beacon Light in second place, Nugar is third, in fourth place a close fourth is Sea Pigeon and fifth and last is Gambling Prince. Running downhill and a long way to go before they get to the next flight of hurdles and it's still a quake making the running followed by Beacon Light in second then Nugar and Sea Pigeon and last is still Gambling Prince. Gambling Prince trailing the field by some four or five lengths. There he is in your picture now. And so the turn on towards the back straight where there are four flights of hurdles in front of them and Aquaid continues in the lead followed by the favourite Beacon Light in second place, Beacon Light a horse on the top of his form. In third is Nugar, in fourth is Sea Pigeon and still bringing up the rear fifth and last is Gambling Prince. Over the third, no change in the order but Beacon Light hard held in second, only a length and a half or so behind the leader Acquaint. In fact all the runners closing right up now, Gambling Prince who was some way off the pace just now is now moved right up into third spot now ahead of both Nugar and Sea Pigeon. Sea Pigeon at the back of the field now, but a horse who likes to be held up to come with a turn of foot towards the end of the race. And now Beacon Light has quickly quickened to go on ahead of a quaint. Beacon Light fairly sprinting away now. Beacon Light and Andy Turnell have got first run over the other four. Nugar's in second, Quaint is third. John Joe O'Neill doesn't want to be caught out here on Sea Pigeon. He's now moved up into fourth. And Gambling Prince is once again last of the five. Beacon Light fairly squirting away down the far straight, jumping very quickly and fluently indeed to go into a, a lead of almost 15 lengths now from Nugar and Sea Pigeon. And so with roughly seven furlongs to go in this Otley hurdle, it's Beacon Light who quickened up after the third, who has a very long-looking uh, lead indeed. In fact, virtually un an unassailable lead, I'd say, at this point. Sea Pigeon now is being set alight and is going in hot pursuit into second place and is beginning to close right up now on the leader. Nugar has been left in third, then come Acquaint who made the early running and finally Gambling Prince. Rounding the home turn with Beacon Light racing up the far rails, Sea Pigeon on the near side, in fact Beacon Light coming over now to join Sea Pigeon on the near side. So with just two flights to go, it's Beacon Light in the lead. Sea Pigeon having his first race for a very long time indeed. A very good second now, coming right up almost on terms with Beacon Light. These two have drawn clear of Nugar, Acquaint and finally Gambling Prince. This is the second fight from home in this Otley hurdle. Beacon Light over first, Sea Pigeon over second. And not a lot between the two now. Sea Pigeon getting four pounds from Beacon Light. Nugar is third, Acquaint is fourth, Gambling Prince is fifth. They're running for the eighth and final flight now. On the near side, Sea Pigeon. On the far side, Beacon Light. Over the last, it is Beacon Light still from Sea Pigeon. They're on the run for home. Beacon Light leads. Sea Pigeon being produced for his effort on the near side. There's not going to be much in it. The crowd really shouting these two home. It's Beacon Light and Andy Turnell on the far side. Sea Pigeon and Jojo O'Neill on the near side. Sea Pigeon's getting the upper hand now and racing up towards the line. Sea Pigeon's going to win it and gives Jojo O'Neill his 96th win at the line. Sea Pigeon is the winner. Beacon Light is second. Close for third between a quaint and Nugar. These two struggling for third with Nugar possibly just getting third in front of a quaint and Gambling Prince last of the five. So a terrific battle between Beacon Light, who got first run on Sea Pigeon, but it was Sea Pigeon's blinding turn of finishing speed which won the day.